हेलो स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन मैं अब्दुल्ला मोमेंट के एम इंग्लिश मीडियम हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज से और आज के इस वीडियो में हम एनर्जी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल परफॉर्मिंग एस एच एम पढ़ने वाले हैं तो एनर्जी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल परफॉर्मिंग एस एच एम आज के इस वीडियो में हम सबसे पहले काइनेटिक एनर्जी का फॉर्मूला पोटेंशियल एनर्जी का फॉर्मूला और टोटल एनर्जी का फॉर्मूला डिराइव करेंगे उसके बाद हम कुछ स्पेशल केसेस पढ़ने वाले हैं और लास्ट में हम ये वीडियो के ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एनर्जीज ये एनर्जीज का ग्राफ कैसे बनता है वो पढ़ेंगे तो एनर्जी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल परफॉर्मिंग एस एच एम सपोज करते हैं एक पार्टिकल एन एम पाथ में ऑसिलेट हो रहा है वो इनिशियली पॉइंट पी पे है और मेन पोजिशन से पॉइंट पी का डिस्टेंस एक्स है तो कंसीडर अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम परफॉर्मिंग अ लीनियर एस एच एम अलॉन्ग द पाथ एम एन अबाउट द मेन पोजिशन ओ नाउ एट अ गिवन इंस्टेंट लेट द पार्टिकल बी एट पी एट अ डिस्टेंस एक्स फ्रॉम पॉइंट ओ नाउ वी नो दैट द वेलोसिटी of a particle at a distance x can be written as plus minus omega square root of a square minus x square and we have the formula of kinetic energy as half mv square so instead of v square we are going to put this equation so our equation will be half m omega square a square minus x square and we know that m omega square can be written as k square because omega is square root of k by m squaring on both side omega square is k by m so m omega square can be written as k so we can write kinetic energy as half k a square minus x square this is the formula of kinetic energy at a displacement x now at time t it is half m v square and we know that v is equal to a omega cos omega t plus phi so instead of this we are going to put v square so half m a square omega square cos square omega t plus phi and m omega square can be written as k again so, so we are going to put the value of k instead of m omega square so e k can be written as half k a square cos square omega t plus phi now this is the formula of kinetic energy in terms of cosine function so we will say that the velocity or the kinetic energy varies as cos square theta now next if a particle is performing shm along a path m and about a mean position o at a given instant of time at a distance x the restoring force acting on the particle p is given by f is equal to minus kx where k is the force constant now suppose that the particle is displaced further by a infinitesimal displacement dx so the displacement is dx the restoring force f so the displacement into force is nothing but work done so work done for the displacement dx can be written as force into displacement and we will put the negative sign because f and dx are in opposite direction the restoring force is acting towards the main position and we have displaced the particle towards extreme position so force is opposite to that of the displacement so in work done formula we will put minus and we know that f is equal to minus kx so minus kx minus dx minus minus get plus so this is the work done for a small displacement dx now the total work done on the particle to displace it from point o to a is equal to 0 to x dw integration from 0 to x dw we are going to add a small small displacement so instead of dw we will write kx dx k is constant taken as outside the integration so integration 0 to x x dx and we know that integration of x rest to n dx is equal to x rest to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so integrating we are going to apply this formula x square by 2 and we after putting the value we will get half kx square so this is the work done 
and this work done will be stored in the form of potential energy so we will write ep that is potential energy is equal to half kx square instead of m omega square or instead of k square we will put m omega square so half m omega square x square this is the formula of potential energy at a displacement x now at time t it is given as x is equal to a sin omega t so instead of x square we will write a square sin square omega t plus phi half m omega m omega can be written as k so we will get ep that is potential energy is equal to half k square sin square omega t plus phi now the sine function varies as now the potential energy varies as a sine function so potential in a kinetic energy we have the formula of kinetic energy we have the formula of potential energy now in order to find out the total energy we are going to add the kinetic energy and potential energy so total energy e can be written as summation of kinetic and potential energy so we are half m omega half m omega is taken outside or common a square minus x square plus x square minus x square plus x square get cancelled we will get e is equal to half m omega square a square and can be written as instead of m omega square we will write k so this is the formula of total energy of the particle performing shl and we know that velocity is plus minus omega a square so at mean position the velocity is maximum and will displacement is zero so maximum velocity is omega a square so we have omega square a square so we can write maximum velocity square is equal to omega square a square so we'll write half m v max square this is the formula of total energy now this is the formula of total energy of a particle m omega and a are constant then we can say that the total energy is also constant it is independent of time and displacement we know that omega is equal to 2 pi n uh, therefore omega square is equal to 4 pi square n square so e can be written as half m 4 pi square n square a square so e can be written as 2 m pi square n square a square so e can be written as 2 m pi a square t square instead of frequency square we will write reciprocal of time square so thus total energy of shm is directly proportional to the mass and it is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude it is directly proportional to the square of the frequency and it is directly proportional to the force constant but it is inversely proportional to the square of the period so now special cases at mean position x will be zero and the velocity is maximum so instead of x we are going to write zero so kinetic energy can be written as half k a square or half m omega square a square that is half m v max square so and potential energy is zero when x is zero to so mean position kinetic energy is maximum potential energy is zero total energy will be the sum of kinetic and potential it can be written as e is equal to half m v max square plus zero so e is equal to kinetic energy max ep is minimum that is zero so at mean position kinetic energy is maximum and potential energy is minimum minimum means zero maximum means half m v max square now at extreme position x can be written as plus minus a and velocity will be zero so when we will put the value of x as a so plus a square or minus a square it will become a square a square minus a square will be zero so kinetic energy will be zero and potential energy will be half k a square this is the potential energy of a particle this equation is wrong you have you are supposed to cancel it so potential energy is half k a square half m omega square a square instead of x square we are going to put a square so total energy will be sum of kinetic and potential kinetic is zero potential is half m omega square a square so 
total energy is potential energy which is maximum and kinetic to at extreme position kinetic energy is maximum and potential energy is maximum kinetic energy is minimum and potential energy is maximum now in special cases as a particle oscillate the energy changes between kinetic and potential at the mean position the energy is kinetic entirely kinetic puri ki puri energy kinetic hogi mean position pe maximum rahegi potential energy zero hoti hai while at extreme position it is entirely potential kinetic zero hoti hai at other position the energy is partly kinetic and partly potential means kuch part kinetic ka hoga kuch part potential ka however the total energy is always conserved so in special case three of kinetic energy is put is equal to potential energy we have the formula of kinetic energy we have the formula of potential energy these two are equal so we will write half m omega square a square minus x square is equal to half m omega square x square half m omega half m omega will get cancel we will get a square minus x square plus x square so minus x square get another side of the equals and it will become x square plus x square so a square is equal to 2 x square so that is x square is equal to a square by 2 or x can be written as plus minus a root 2 so at a distance plus minus a root 2 the potential energy is equal to kinetic energy and will be half the total energy half part of the total energy is kinetic energy half part of the total energy is potential energy at a point a root 2 now at a distance half the amplitude potential energy can be calculated as instead of x we will put a by 2 that is a square by 4 so 1 by 4 half k square that means half k square is total energy so total energy potential energy is 1/4 the total energy but we know that kinetic energy is equal to potential energy total energy is equal to kinetic plus potential so four potential is equal to so plus potential energy plus ep comes another side of the equal sign it will becomes minus ep so kinetic energy is equal to 3 kinetic energy potential energy ke three times hogi at a displacement plus minus a by 2 25% potential rahegi 75% kinetic rahegi अब ग्राफ बनाना है हमको काइनेटिक और पोटेंशियल का तो मीन पोजीशन पे पोटेंशियल जीरो होता है एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन पे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मैक्सिमम होती है एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन पे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मैक्सिमम तो आपका ग्राफ बनेगा ये दिस ग्राफ इज योर पोटेंशियल एनर्जी दिस ग्राफ इज योर काइनेटिक एनर्जी एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन पे काइनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन पे काइनेटिक जीरो मीन पे काइनेटिक मैक्सिमम तो ये आपका काइनेटिक का ग्राफ बन गया ये आपका पोटेंशियल का ग्राफ बन गया टोटल एनर्जी है जो आप डैश लाइन देख रहे हो सबसे टॉप पे स्ट्रेट लाइन ये है टोटल एनर्जी विच ऑलवेज कांस्टेंट सो दैट्स इट स्टूडेंट थैंक यू आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट वेरी वेल आई विल कैच